Linkin Park didn't get the Grammy recognition of, say, U2, but they did win one award and was involved in a once-in-a-lifetime performance with Jay-Z. The band and the rapper delivered their winning song, Numb Encore, to the crowd, but were graced by an appearance by ex-Beatle Paul McCartney. As Linkin Park's Mike Shinoda took a seat at the piano, Jay-Z started his rap. One minute in, out came McCartney for a mashed up rendition of the Beatles hit, Yesterday. Backstage, singer Chester Bennington, who harmonized on the song with the legend, talked about how it all came together. Danger Mouse mixed Jay-Z's uh, Black Album with the Beatles' White Album, and that kind of inspired the idea for tonight with, you know, performing Numb Encore, being nominated for this uh, wonderful award. We thought it would be really amazing to to try to tie all those things together, and we did. I mean, uh, Sir Paul McCartney was gracious enough to be really into the idea and supportive, and we pulled it off, and we won the Grammy, we played with Paul McCartney, and it's pretty much been like the most kick-ass day I think any of us have ever had. Linkin Park's victory for best rap, sung collaboration, was not their first. Their song, Crawling, took home a trophy for best rock song in 2001. Before the victory, Jay-Z had amassed four Grammy Awards, including one for Volume 2, Hard Knock Life, back in 1998.